Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the KA-50 Black Shark 3, taking out some artillery with the Vikers beam riding missile and the Schval targeting system. We'll be doing this from a hover, but it works just as well in full motion. We have quite a few control bindings to deal with, so those are going to be on screen at the end of the video. Check weapon system activated. Master arm on, launch mode manual. Laser on. Weapon select outer pylons. Letter C in the HUD indicates the selected station is ready to fire. Uncase the Schwal targeting system. The circle shows the Schwal's aim point. Also the line on the map, but it's not yet accurate. Press Schwal lock with the laser on to get an accurate laser range. You'll now see the Vikers ranging reticle. Flew the Schwal display over your first target. If the targeting box is larger than the target, you can use the target gate decrease control. Don't need that for now though. Target lock. On our HUD reticle we've got maximum range, minimum range and current range to target. Press and hold weapon release. The rocket's going to follow the laser beam down towards the target. If you move the Schwal in flight then the weapon will attempt to follow. Good effect. Uncage and flew to the next target. This guy's moving but with a target lock we'll follow him. Lock. Press weapons release and hold. The Vikers will track down to the moving target. It's important to note that if the weapon release were in automatic, then you'd need to keep the targeting reticle over the Schwal target circle for the duration of pressing the weapon release button. That's quite tricky to do, so I'd fully recommend keeping it in manual. As a rule of thumb, if the target is inside the HUD, or even just a little bit outside of it, then you're very likely to score a hit. I'm uncaging the Schwal after each hit. The other thing to note is that the missile is spin stabilised and it follows kind of a spiralling approach to the target. If you try and skim the missile past an obstacle, you might not be too lucky. For the fifth target, we're going to use auto turn to target as a kind of an aiming assist. Note the bounding box that appears when we slew our cheval outside of the HUD. This shows the sensor's gimbal limits. Auto turn on. The aircraft starts to yaw towards the target. If you're firing from the left hard point, then it will line you up perfectly for the shot. Of course, since we're in manual release, that perfect aim isn't quite so important, so you can shoot freely from either hard point using auto turn. Let's come out of the hover and re cage the Schwal. Master arm off, targeting mode auto, laser range finder off, auto turn off. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.